Well, RIMPAC is the, uh, the largest naval activity uh, exercise undertaken in the world, and it's important that we've got Australian Army representatives over here to build up their level of expertise and skill in operating in the maritime environment. Our Canberra class LHDs are, uh, will be with the ADF very shortly. Uh, and it's very important that we have the requisite uh, experience and skills in our soldiers who will form the core of our landing force. Well, first of all, and overarchingly with RIMPAC, we're looking to just have that face time with our partner nations. We're settling down, getting to know them and doing some base level skills. So some urban training, uh, some fast roping, getting to use their airframes and getting familiar with each other's equipment and ways of doing business. Following on from that, we'll step things up, move to another island, conduct some more robust training and subsequently culminate in an activity that will involve all nations. And the great thing about uh, RIMPAC is that it involves all our nearest neighbours as well as some from further afield. And at some point or another we've, we've all cross-pollinated. Uh, it's quite interesting to see some of my soldiers walking into the messes and bumping into other soldiers from the US Marine Corps that they were working with as early as nine months ago in Darwin. There's 22 nations all up involved in RIMPAC. Uh, most of them are, are from our direct area of interest uh, and the ADF has exercised individually with uh, almost all of them. Uh, having them all here together it provides a fantastic opportunity for all of us to learn from each other uh, and to build a common understanding of how we do business, what our strengths and weaknesses are, uh, and also just that very important cultural understanding of how other nations operate and also the, uh, the personal relationships which are so important when uh, we have to come together at short notice to do things like uh, the search for Malaysian Airlines MH370 or a humanitarian uh, or disaster relief activity where we don't have any notice um, but we are required to work together. Uh, the more we can understand each other and the more we know how each other operate, the better off we will be. Well, the strategic advantage of any coalition is the perspectives as well as the capabilities that all of us bring to a potential problem. Now, to harness those capabilities, we need to work together, train together, and learn from each other, which is really the strategic end state of exercises like RIMPAC 2014. What I see from the Australians is the utmost professionalism. Absolute professionals at what they do.